EasyJet, which is the second largest LCC carrier in Europe, has a very large fleet of Airbus planes, consisting of the A319s all the way up to the A321neo. Now, operating 132 destinations, it goes without saying that they have stamped their authority in the European market, and year by year, their network portfolio continues to grow. But would the possibility of EasyJet operating transatlantic flights seem pretty far-fetched? And since we're on this topic, and they operate primarily Airbus planes, would they fly transatlantic using the Airbus A380? Well, it's not entirely impossible, and it may be on the horizon in the near future, because there have been times when the CEO of EasyJet, Johan Peter, has hinted at the possibility that the airline could further expand into Europe and also tap into the US market. Now, the prospect of seeing a face-off between EasyJet, Southwest Airlines and Ryanair, who are also interested, will be very exciting to see. But realistically speaking, they're aiming to enter into the US market, maybe not very soon like next year, but perhaps in 10 years' time. So they're currently operating 300 of the A319s and A320s, and they currently have 116 of the A320 and A321 Neo planes on order. Although they are able to cross the pond, you're asking way too much from the plane. Now when a flight exceeds more than 3,000 miles, the airline is going to need more seats to compete on a per-flight basis. Considering that EasyJet are a loyal customer to Airbus, the option for Boeing planes totally goes out the window. So what options does that leave us? Well, we have the A330neo, the A350 and also the A380. Now the A330-900neo would be a safe choice for the airline. It has relatively low acquisition costs and availability within the timeline that the airline prefers. Also, the cabin crew are well familiar with the layout of the planes since there isn't much difference apart from the size, so the cost of familiarization would be low for the A330. The plane would also be able to fly from Western Europe all the way up to Los Angeles, so range isn't really an issue for the plane, and with the current production timeline of 6 planes per month, timing for delivery would be perfect for EasyJet. It's also a relatively low-cost option, especially if the airline went through a lease. But the question is, what would their cabin configuration look like? Well, it goes without saying that the airline wants to make themselves more appealing to customers. They could probably get around 475 seats with an all-economy configuration, featuring 16-inch seats. But if they were competing in the same space where AirAsia or Jetstar already existed, then there's a very high chance that the airline would order the A330neos in a 9 abreast configuration. It's the only way that the airline would survive in this current market. Now, another option would be the A350, but it's unclear how many seats they'll be able to get in a 10 abreast configuration, and it would certainly make the unit cost of a full plane downright obscene. But the problem arises from the issue that due to the optimizations for the larger Pacific and Mid-Eastern customers, the A350-1000 is now more of a freight hauling ultra long haul plane. That's a lot of plane to be carrying around for a 6 hour flight from Western Europe to New York. We're not saying that the plane isn't able to earn a profit for the airline, but we know that low cost carriers are concerned all about costs. They wouldn't want to pay landing fees for the plane where the extra weight would be a hindrance. The problem also arises from the fact that EasyJet will only have a few routes where 550 passengers will want to fly with them. While a fully loaded A350 offers A380 killing economics, for example, an empty plane is carrying unnecessary weight and burning more fuel. So a long story short, it would be a huge gamble if EasyJet went for the A350. Now the final option is the A380. We all know that low-cost carriers have incredibly rapid turnaround times, and the A380 would be no exception. This would mean using multiple jet bridges and grouping passengers into categories depending on where they sit on the plane, and it may prove to be a logistical nightmare if it's not executed correctly. Nevertheless, the airline doesn't offer any variety of seat class, and it will likely turn the superplane into an all economy by seating over 850 passengers on the two decks. Now, if the seats are anything like their current planes, they would offer the bare minimum. It would also be very difficult for a fully loaded A380 to be profitable for the airline. For example, the short European routes between minor cities that they operate would not be feasible in this instance. Also, there's the problem that the plane is way too large and there are only a handful of airports that it can fly to. This will limit their choices in terms of routes and they will need to find destinations that can handle the plane and also have very little competition and have passenger demand. 
Now a good option would be to look at long haul destinations over the Atlantic or the Pacific. Now we would expect routes between major cities like New York and London that can handle an additional 800 seats added to the marketplace. If they had the A380s instead of their current fleet of the A320 family, then their capacity would increase from 189 passengers per plane to 868 passengers, which is a 4.6% increase. Now this raises the question of where they would find this amount of customers. They don't want to overextend themselves like Norwegian Air and damage their business model if they went down this direction. So would the possibility of EasyJet operating the A380 really happen? While the airline is all about being saturated as possible, meaning fly as to many places as possible whilst making a profit. They can do this with the A320s because it's small enough and every airport is guaranteed to handle the plane. The possibility of the A380 and the A350 is very slim, but if the airline decided to start transatlantic flights, then the best bet for the airline would be something like the A330neo. But one thing is for sure, we know that the industry is always changing and revolving, with airlines moving towards larger and more efficient budget planes. Now captains, I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this. Do you think it would be great for the airline if they operated the A380? If not, which model do you think they would go for? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.